I just want to read the back of this uh, poetry on fire. Check this out. The ancient Psalms find the words that express our deepest and strongest emotions. They will turn your sighing into singing and your trouble into triumph. No matter what you may be going through in your life, the Psalms have a message for you. As you read these 150 poetic masterpieces, your heart will be stirred to worship God in greater ways. The Passion Translation of the Psalms will leave you amazed and inspired as the inspired words of Scripture unlock your heart to the wondering glory of God's Word. It is truly poetry on fire. Today we are on Psalm 8, Creation's, Creation's Echo. Great and powerful is your name, O Lord our God. People everywhere see your majesty. Your glory streams from the heavens, filling the earth with the flame of your name. You have built a stronghold by the songs of babies. Strength rises up with the chorus of singing children. This kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. Look at the splendor of your skies, your creative genius glowing in the heavens. When I gaze at your moon and your stars mounted like jewels in their settings, I know you are the fascinating artist who formed it all. But when I look up and see such wonder and workmanship above, I have to ask you this question. Compared to this cosmic glory, why would you bother with puny mortal man or pay attention to A. Adam's sons? Yet what honor you have given to man, created only a little lower than Elohim, crowned like kings and queens with glory and majesty as lords of creation. You have delegated to them mastery over all you have made making everything subservient to their authority, placing earth itself under the feet of your image bearers. All the created order in every living thing of the earth, sky and sea, the wildest beasts and all sea creatures, everything is in submission to Adam's sons. Great and powerful is your name, O Lord our God. People everywhere see your majesty. What glory streams from the heavens, filling the earth with the fame of your name. Psalm 9, Triumphant Thanks. O oh Lord, I will worship you with extended hands as my heart explodes with praise. I will tell everyone everywhere about your wonderful works and how your marvelous miracles exceeded expectations. I will jump for joy and triumph as I sing your song and make music for the Most High God. For when you appear, I worship, while all my enemies run in retreat. They stumble and perish before your presence. For you have stood up for my cause and vindicated me when I needed you the most. From your righteous throne, you have given me justice. With a blast of your rebuke, nations are destroyed. You obliterated their names forever and ever. The Lord thundered over our enemy, and our enemies have been cut off, vanished in everlasting ruins. All their cities have been destroyed. Even the memory of them has been erased. But the Lord of eternity, our mighty God, lives and reigns forever. He sits enthroned as king, ready to render his verdicts and judge all with righteousness. He will issue his decrees of judgment, deciding what is right for the entire world, giving to each one everything they deserve. All who are oppressed may come to you as a shelter in the time of trouble, a perfect hiding place. May everyone who knows your mercy keep putting their trust in you, for they can count on you for help no matter what. Oh Lord, 
You will never, no, never neglect those who come to you. Listen, everyone. Sing out your praises to the God who lives and rules within Zion. Tell the world about all the miracles he has done. He tracks down killers and avenges bloodshed, but he will never forget the ones forgotten by others, hearing every one of their cries for justice. So now, O oh Lord, don't forget me. Have mercy on me. Take note of how I've been humiliated at the hands of those who hate me. Bring me, bring me back again from the brink, from the very gates of death. Save me. Bring me to the spiritual gates of Zion so that I can bring you the shout of praise you deserve. For the godless nations get trapped in the very snares they set for others. The hidden trap they set for the weak has snapped shut upon themselves. Guilty. The Lord is famous for this. His justice will punish the wicked while they are digging a pit for others. They are actually settling the terms for their own judgment. They will fall into their own pit. Pause in his presence. Don't forget this. All the wicked will one day fall into the darkness of death's domain and remain there. Including the nations that forget God and reject his ways. He will not ignore forever all the needs of the poor, for those in need shall not always be crushed. Their hopes shall be fulfilled, for God sees it all. O oh Lord, won't you now arise to judge and punish the nations who defy you? Aren't you fed up with their rebellion? Make them tremble in fear before your presence. Place a lawgiver over them. Make them know that they are only puny, frail humans <laughs> who must give account to you.